All right, y'all. So we finally getting in some of the merchandise we ordered. We were talking about doing a mod for the DB14. We are going to add some lights, headlight, tail light, rear, front, blinkers. Um, we have a front brake switch. We want to see if we have a rear brake switch on here. We're going to add one. And we have a battery. I'm not sure what everything we have right now, but um, we got a lot of packages in today. Let's go ahead and open some of these up and see what we have. I'm pretty sure I know what this is because of the weight. I can almost guarantee you this is the battery, battery and charger. So that's right on time. We don't have to go out and get a charger. Yep, that's what it is. So we have a, a Niche Industries smart battery charger and maintainer. That's awesome. I got all this stuff from Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the description. If you want to follow along with this project and figure out how to put some lights on your pit bike, maybe we can do this together. So this is the battery. It looks like a completely different shape than the one I have. Okay, it's just the packaging. Wow. Okay. It looks almost exactly like the battery that I have on the other dirt bike. Um, I'll explain more about the battery when I install it. When I take it out of the packaging. We're going to get on to the other stuff. But I will be using this charger right away. And it came with some screws, some battery screws. The next package is uh, my ATV place. It says eBay, but I ordered it from Amazon. You guys know how, know how that works. So somebody on Amazon bought it from somebody on eBay. But I got it really fast. Okay. Hey, it came with the slap on, unhinged ATV. My first sticker. Okay, so this is a. Uh, this is for my left hand dual sport mirror. So I got a mirror. Maybe I should have got two. And I'm not sure if this is going to work. I think I looked at the mounting before I ordered it to see if the mounting was going to work for my bike. Left hand mirror. So I was going to get two mirrors. I was going to get the bar end mirrors. And uh, who knows. Let's see what this looks like. has the proper mounting bracket. I think I see another slap one in there. Yep, this is what I needed. So it has the handlebar mount and it's adjustable. And we're going to go over this in more detail when we slap it on here. Perfect. So let's see what other slap back this came with. Tusk. That's nice. Like both of those. Oh, I know what this is. It feels like it's smaller than what I thought it was going to be. But it feels like what it looked like. This is going to be our tail light. And this is something we're definitely going to need. So the tail light's gonna fit right. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a perfect fit. So yeah, it's got a little fan on it. The lights right here, lights right here. It's got a little fan on it, and it goes underneath. I think like that. It's gonna be nice. And it should have the wiring. I'll open that up. I don't have any scissors on me. We'll take a closer look at it later. 
Link's going to be in the description. Next. I already know what this is too. So, um, I think I ordered four of these. But these should be our blinkers. We should have four blinkers. Yep, that's exactly what they are. So when you've been looking at these things, examining what you want to put on your bike, you can almost um, tell what you have just from the feel of it. Yeah, nice size. And you know, um, I think this size is going to be perfect for, the, for the, this bike. From the picture, I thought they were going to be larger. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. So that, that cellophane in there sounds crispy, and I'm like, well, is that something broken in there? <laughs> but yeah, this is a cellophane. These look nice. Let's see if I can open them up. a nice size. Sweet. So I'll have to figure out how to mount two of these on the front. I was thinking here originally, but actually no. Two on the headlight and two on that fin. They're coming out right here on the side. That's going to be nice. If I can get them on there, and you know, if I can't get them on there, I'll put those on the Hulk, and those will look cool on the Hulk too, because a little bit more refined. I might even switch those and get some of those on the Hulk anyway, <laughs> just because they look so refined. So here we have the extra brake lever. I think I did bend this. I squeezed it so hard I think I bent it when I hit the tree with my hand. I probably squeezed the crap out of it. And uh, this is thicker. I got this from X-Pro and it said it was going to be better than the manufacturer. Which, and they're right, it's uh, actually thicker than the one that came on the bike. It looks the same and it feels almost the same, but you can see the thickness of it. It's kind of molded in. So this one's fine for now, but I have an extra one just in case. I can't guess what's in the small box. It does say Amazon.com. So in the small box we have something that says standard. I'm thinking of some type of wiring harness. Wiring harness. <laughs> it says connector, connector, connection. So we have a connector. Wiring harness. And this is something I may not need. Oh, you know what? I know what I got this for. Um, the wiring harness I purchased, the big one, it may have a connection that goes to the front brake switch. I'm not sure, but this is the first thing I could find that matched up to it. Um, supposedly it should be perfect, but there was a review that said that it wasn't the right item, so I had to get it just to make sure for anyone else who, were, who wanted to know what wire do you get for that front, front, front brake switch. So we're going to have to try this out. But first, before we try it out, we're going to get the, uh, the complete wiring harness. 
and see if it has one included because I mean if it does then we know we won't need this $28 wire I mean this is probably one of the most expensive things that I had to purchase for the uh, mod and uh, if, it, if it was what I need it should go right there it looks like the pins are farther apart than they need to be let's see no that's probably gonna be perfect yeah looks like it's just right so if the wiring harness that we get doesn't have this the connector rather than put those little those little alligator pin or those little pins on there those little flat pins rather than do that we'll go ahead and use this because it has them well it has a connector we'll make it simple so it says uh warning sellers are not liable for accidents or injuries and handle with care so you already know what that is so uh this is my new helmet. I think that's fine. That goes really well with, well with the orange. <laughs> Let's uh, test this out. So, uh, the medium, it fits me okay, but probably not as snug as it should be. I think it should be one size smaller so it doesn't have any movement at all as long as I can squeeze it on my head it should be good so this says small size 55 to 56 I don't know how the heck I got such a big helmet the first time I guess I just wanted to make sure but after all that we should have the perfect helmet now all right so hope I can get this on and then I hope I can get it off because uh, no one else is here to help me get it off <laughs> first you want to make sure you know how to unstrap these uh these straps without looking you don't want to be looking in the mirror like panicking like oh man how do I get this off my head you know that's a little if you have claustrophobia you don't want to get a helmet stuck on your head even if you don't have claustrophobia you can put one of these on your head and start feeling claustrophobic if you can't get it off. Wow, it's not squeezing on. <laughs> That's probably good. Hey, it fits on there and it's not too tight. <laughs> Did I finally get the right size motorcycle helmet? Oh man, that's perfect. Finally. Yeah. Oh, man. And so. That can combine with a good price. All right, y'all. So that's, uh. That's it for today.